Go. Hello, we're University of Minnesota 3D Robotics, and this is what we got after our first day here. Um, it is made with a lot of love and care, but this is what we got. Uh, our main idea is that we uh, pick up from the ground, and it drives up, and then it meets these two wheels here, in which it puts a downward force, causing it uh, to be able to be pulled up by this. Wrong way. Yep, yep, yep. Into a holding chamber here, where this wheel will hold it, while this one spins up. Uh, and then, now this is in storage, we can drive around pretty safely here. And then when we are all ready to shoot, uh, we activate that wheel, and pulls it up, and shoots it off. <laughs> We've also got a drivetrain over there that is currently working. Yeah, this was the uh, work of the programming people uh, for yesterday, working on just getting our new drivetrain, well, practice drivetrain up and running. Um, now with a Rev PDH that we decided to purchase for this year. Uh, but everything's up and running. Uh, we tested our joystick controls and stuff, made sure things were working from previous code that we ran, but uh, just fine. So we'll be using that for a bunch of testing and gyroscope testing. Um, and some of the things we're gonna work on today uh, is, I was just looking at the Advantage Kit uh, data logging software. Um, it looks very interesting uh, for use this year uh, for testing the robot and making sure things work. Um, and then also we're going to be working on a bunch of the vision tracking with the April tags and trying to uh, use, utilize that so then it'll help the robot perform this year. Uh, but I think now uh, they're going to talk about the different designs that we're going to try out before we decide on this. All right, so we had um, quite a few ideas um, but we had like, it's a good like solid 12 like at the beginning of it with like minor deviations but our main like the main ideas were uh, we had a, a little grabber that would flop um, over that front of it to which would pull it into some sort of mechanism to get it to a shooter. Uh, the sec another idea we had was um, Honestly, it was just like a ramp in the center here, and we would just drive forward and it would get inside the ramp. Um, and then we even had some funky ideas, like the way to pick up this ring would have been just to have something here, and then we spin, spin this spin this little wheel, it would move up, and now it's in our possession. Um, but the main issue with that was once it's in our possession, we have something now that's walking like this, and it's pretty hard to move because it'd have to go out the front. Um, we ended up choosing this idea just because it is quite efficient at actually picking it up. Like even if it's off center, if we added two little spikes here, which we have right now as screws, we can just push it forward and it auto lines pretty darn well. And um, those would not be contacting the floor in the final design. That is, <laughs> we can think of them as like little things. Um, I think. We are, we are, as a team, pretty pleased with this whole mechanism. So now we're just gonna start, start to refine it quite a bit. There's a lot of stuff we can do. Like we plan to make this quite a bit shorter. Um, we try to, I'm gonna add a cover here and then a little feeding mechanism to make sure that there isn't space for the ring to go up and down because if it goes up and down, we can't guarantee contact at all times with the wheels and the wheels. Causing, well, the ring to get pretty bad burns and no one likes to burn $15 rings. Um, for climbing, we just got the uh, climber in a box and we're probably going to stick it on somewhere over this, have some sort of arch up and over so we can get it centered on your robot like so. Um, we designed this so it is short enough to go underneath the chains. So this will be cut down somewhere around here so it can go right in the middle, and we can still fit onto the chains while being able to climb.